Hey guys, in this section we're going to actually start mapping out our database and we're going to we're going to not create yet, but we're going to um, just establish what we want for for tables and for fields. Um, before be before we do that, I'd like to just do a quick recap on what we've done already. All right, so we started out just with the basics. What's a database? Uh, we learned what MySQL is and what it's capable of. Um, we talked about storage engines and InnoDB and MyISAM, which are the two most popular uh, data types. We talked about the three categories, which are numeric, um, strings, and dates. Uh, and then we created a couple different environments. We installed MySQL on Windows, then we installed it in Linux, and we also installed XAMPP, which is what we'll be using. And we also took a quick look at PHP MyAdmin and MySQL Workbench, and we'll come back to those in a bit. And then we talked about principles of design and normalization, uh, and a, a quick and simple uh, database design process. So that's where we're at right now. So, uh, like I said, we could just jump in and go to PHP MyAdmin or or a different program and create our tables, but I want to get it laid out just so we know what we're doing. So I'm actually going to go old school here and just open up a notepad file just so we can we can look at it, um, you know, get a, a good look at what we're doing. So our database is going to be basically a, an online store. All right. So we know that it's going to have a let me do this in capitals. Um, we know it's going to have a products table. All right. And I want products to be able to be categorized. So that means we need a product categories table. All right, and we're going to have customers or users that can come and create an account and log in. So we definitely need to need a customers table. And I don't want to give the customers table a million different fields, so we're going to actually create our own table for the for the addresses which we can link to through a foreign key. So we want customer addresses, all right. And I also want customers to be able to log in and leave a review um, for products. So we're going to have a reviews table, and let's see what else. Um, that's it for the product and customer side of it. But this this database, it, the application would also have. Um, a, a mini CMS where you can create pages like an about page or, or services things like that so we're gonna have a pages table and then I want the pages to be able to be categorized as well so we'll have uh, page categories alright so these are, these are our tables and like I've said before we're not building the actual application uh, that would be a whole different series itself we're building the database for the application now what we want to do is, is establish what fields we want in each table. So let's start with our products table. All right, so pretty much all of our tables are going to have a field called ID. All right, and that's going to be the primary key. Uh, and after we create all these or, or we establish all our fields, um, I'll go back and label what's going to be a primary key or a foreign key and all that. All right, so our products will have an ID. Let me put these in lowercase. Uh, products will also have a name. Now, different people use different conventions for naming tables and fields. And I'm actually writing out the the titles as I will when we create the actual fields. But you may find it easier to say, um, can't type product name instead of name. All right, but I prefer to do it this way, mostly because in a lot of the applications that I write, we'll be using something like this in PHP. We'll say this um, product name. All right, now that looks a lot neater to me than this product product name. All right, so that's basically the reason why I do it, but it. it it, it's not really important which what you use here, um, but it's just all it's preference. All right, so if you want to use product name, that's fine. All right, um, so our products will have an ID, they'll have a name, they'll have a description, um, they'll have a price, of course. I cannot type. 
All right, price, category, and this is actually going to be a foreign key to the product categories ID. And we'll have an image. Now after I get all the fields all set, I'll, I'll put the data type we're going to use along with any um, primary keys or whatever we're going to whatever we're going to do. So product categories will have an ID. Let me put that little dash. Um, they'll have a name. They'll have a description. So you can see a lot of this is repetitive. Description, name, and it'll have an image. Customers will have an ID. Um, we'll say first name, last name, email. We'll say password because they're going to be creating accounts. I'm not going to use a username. We're just going to pretend that they're going to use the email and password. Um, and we'll also let them have an avatar and a join date. For addresses, now we, we don't necessarily have to have a primary key ID here, uh, but I like to give a primary key to all my tables just so we have something unique that has to be unique. Um, so our customer addresses will have an ID, they'll have a customer ID. Now I just like to put customer as my foreign key, but you could put customer ID if that makes a little more sense to you. Um, let's see, we need an address, address to, city, state, whoop. Now if you were building an application that's going to serve people out of the US, you might want to add a few more fields for country or region or whatever, but we're just going to keep it simple. All right, so reviews are going to have a primary key ID. Um, they'll have a title, a body, a rating, which will be just a 1 to 10 rating. And let's see. Well, we need the customer, obviously. We need the customer, we need the product. And a review date. All right, so pages will have an ID, a title, a body, category, which will be a foreign key for the page categories, table, um, and we'll do a create date. Now page categories will have an ID, a name, description, and we'll give it an image. All right, so that, that looks good. So now what I want to do, we have all our tables and fields. I want to just, um, I want to define the data type of each field and the characters of each field and then any um, options such as primary key or auto increment now all our IDs here are going to be primary keys okay they're going to be integers of 11 characters max and we'll say auto increment and primary key okay so we can actually just copy this and put that next to all of the IDs. All right, so name is going to be Varkar, we'll say 100. I'm gonna keep most of my Varkars at 100 in length. Okay, uh, description is just gonna be text with no we're not going to define the characters. Uh, price, we'll say Varkar 20. Category, okay, image is going to be Varkar. Name, description will be text. Now, we're not actually storing images in the database 
what's going to be stored is the data is the image path all right so the image will get uploaded to the server and we'll reference the path so that we can put that in our src attribute of our image tag first name last name emails this is all fine passwords um, for usually or should be encrypted you should not ever store a password as regular text uh, it's easy enough to encrypt if you're using PHP you can use uh, functions like MD5 you can um, use SHA-1 so there's a whole bunch of different um, ways you can encrypt a password pretty easily so uh, 100 should be good uh, avatar will basically just be an image um, join date is going to be a timestamp and it's going to have a let me put this in caps just my OCD need all these to be the same all right so timestamp is going to have a default of current date all right now what I did forget to do is label the foreign key up here so we have our products table and then we have a category field and this is going to be the foreign key for this products categories ID all right so this will match this so let's just label that um, Spell foreign. Foreign is that even right? Foreign key to products categories ID. Uh, and this should not be a var car. This is going to be. Maybe I should use the um, underscore IDs on my fields. All right. And then we have categories. That looks fine customers okay all right that's good so in our customer addresses our, this is actually going to be a primary key for our customer ID all right so I'm just going to copy this here and it's going to be a foreign key to the customers table ID okay address Let's just make these var cars. City, state. You could force abbreviations and make this two, two characters. Um, but I'm just going to stick with 100. I'm just going to be simple. Same thing with this. We could restrict the number for a zip code, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, let's see. Reviews. We have a couple foreign keys here. The table, the title will be a var car. Body will be. Um, text rating will be an integer and we'll give that two because they're not going to be able to rate past 10 so that's fine um, customer is going to be a foreign key let me copy this up here and that's fine it's going to go to the customers table ID and then product will go to the products table ID review date uh, basically will be a timestamp with that current time. Uh, let's just add that for create date as well. And this will be a var car. So will this. And body will be text. Okay, name down here is going to be var car. This will be text. A lot of repetition here. Image var car. All right, so that looks good. Make sure there's no other foreign keys we're missing. Uh, and there is. Uh, pages has a category. I don't know why I keep doing that, but this is going to be an int, and it's going to be related to the product. The, I'm sorry, the page categories ID. Okay. All right. So I'm going to save this and I saved it as store database schema and you should see this in your product files no, I'm sorry your project files uh, products pages projects whatever um, all right so we have our, our schema mapped out in the next video what we'll do is take this and we'll actually create our database